behind the dick? That's just, that's just weak. Okay guys, that's pretty cool. So please like and subscribe, help me grow this little channel. And if you want the scripts and the full project, it's available on Patreon and you'll find a link in the description. Let's go. So here's my Uzi model. At the very top, I have a few colliders. As you can see, just to fill out the whole model, I have an animation controller and a rigid body that uses gravity. I also have one collider that is trigger and that's placed at the very bottom where the magazine will go into the gun. Then we have the cartridge exit position, which is just an empty game object placed where I want the cartridge to exit. The same for the barrel exit pointing forward and the magazine position. So to get the magazine to be in the correct position, drag one magazine into your magazine position, zero out its position values. Now move the magazine position until your magazine is where you want it to be when it's inside the gun. Just rotate and move and do whatever you need to. I'm going to revert because mine's already good. Create these five animations. If you do not know how to create animations, check out my previous video, Desert Eagle, where the first couple of minutes I show you how to create the animations. So this is the cockback. It's only moving the slider and the bolt. This is the fire. It's only moving the bolt back and forward and turning on and off the particle effect. This is fire no ammo. It's only turning the bolt forward, closing the bolt, loaded. This is an open bolt. Unloaded. This is a closed bolt. Super simple animations. So open up the animation controller and make sure you create three triggers one fire one cockback one fire no ammo and one boolean stop fire so you want to have unloaded as default state and go from unloaded when the cockback trigger is hit and then from cockback to loaded we have exit time and we don't not have any parameters so from loaded to fire we want to go if the trigger fire is triggered and we want to go back from fire to loaded if stop fire is true. Otherwise, we do not want to leave fire. From loaded to fire no ammo, we want to go when the trigger fire no ammo is triggered. And from there back to unloaded, we have exit time, so no parameters. I can remove this one. And this is all you need for the animations. So let's open up the Uzi script. So this is very similar to the Desert Eagle. We have references to the cartridge, the cartridge exit, the barrel exit. So the cartridge is just a prefab. I dragged in straight from my prefab folder to the script. The cartridge exit just dragged into the slot. The barrel, same thing. Barrel exit, drag it into the slot. And the magazine position, do the same thing, drag it into the slot. And the slider for the cockback position. So then we have a reference to the animator and we have a few public properties. They're all booleans. All of them are set to false by default except stop auto firing. It's set to true by default. Also have a timer. Make sure the timer uh, the length of the timer is set to the same as the fire animation. So in my case, 0.1 seconds. This will make everything look nicer. So also the spread and the reload system is the same as on the Desert Eagle. Then I have reference to the audio source and the sounds. My sounds are available on Patreon. You can find your own online. In the start function, we create the audio source and we get the animator. In the update function, uh, if fire is true, we call the shoot method. So if cocked, if cocked equals true and rounds is more than zero and magazine in gun equals true, then we can shoot. So if we can shoot and semi 
auto is true, then send cartridge, check for hit, set the fire trigger, the stop fire to true, and play the sound. So we want to set, set stop fire to true because we want to go back to loaded when we do semi-auto single round shots. Else, if semi-auto is false, that means we are doing full auto shooting. So stop the source so we can play our sound, our new sound, and set auto fire to true. If auto fire is true, we will call the auto fire method. But don't worry about that right now, let's finish with the shoot function. If we do not have an ammo, cocked is true, rounds is less than or equal to zero, then cocked is false, stop the sound, play the new sound and set the trigger to fire no ammo. That will take us here. From loaded to fire no ammo and back to unloaded. So let's check out the auto fire. It's this little method right here, and it is called from the update function. If auto fire is true, then we call the auto fire. And if rounds, if there is no more rounds, turn it off. Auto fire is false and stop the sound. But if we can't shoot, then reset the timer, get some spread, random spread, set the barrel transformed rotation to this new spread. I'm gonna do it like this so you can see easier. I'm creating a new rotation with adding the new randomly calculated spread. Just like that. And I call the send cartridge and the check hit method. Let's uh, check out the send cartridge. It's the same as the Desert Eagle. The only difference is I decrease the rounds inside this function here. Otherwise it's the same. And I also check for hit. And this is the same as the Desert Eagle as well. So I'm not gonna go into detail, but you can just copy this and check out the Desert Eagle video. I talk a little bit more in detail about it. Get the target script, send the hit point and create the bullet impact. Very simple. So reset the barrel after the shot is done. Uh, set the trigger and set the boolean stop fire to false because we want to loop the fire animation as long as we are auto firing. We do not want to go back, we want to stay inside the fire. Okay. okay, so if stop auto firing is true, auto firing is false, and we are at the fire animation, you need to add the tag fire just like this to the fire animation. Then we set stop auto firing to false, we set the bool to true so we can stop firing, and we turn off the sound if semi auto is false. Next, if we are not cocked and cockback is true, set cockback to false and call the cockback slider method. Very simple, play the sound, set the trigger and set cocked to true. So this will set this trigger, take us to the cockback animation, which will bring us to loaded. Next, we have the release magazine. If that's true, set it to false and call the release magazine method. Set release magazine to false. I did that already, as you can see right here. I didn't, did not need to do it again, so I removed it. Animator, set bull stop fire to true. We do not want to keep firing if we release the magazine. If magazine is not null, play the sound. Set its parents to null. Get the rigid body, add downward force, set rounds to zero, magazine in gun to false, and magazine to null. And here we go, this is the on trigger enter, the reload function. So if other.transform.parent is not null, meaning it has a parent, 
in my case I'm doing this because I have the collider on an empty game object that is a child of the magazine. I do this because it's easier to scale a empty game object with a collider just like this instead of playing around with these values. So that's why I have it like this and that's why I'm calling I'm checking the parent. So if if it's it's the correct object it has to have a parent because in my case it's it will always have a parent and it will be this one. So if that parent is the UC magazine, UC magazine, it has the tag and magazine in gum is false, then we want to play the sound. We want to set magazine to this object to the magazine. We want to get the rigid body, turn off, turn on is kinematic. We want to change the tag so it cannot be used again. Get the collider and turn it off. And then we set the magazine position to the, the magazine to the magazine position and rotation and parent. And magazine and gun is true and add 32 rounds. So I'm just going to scroll through this slowly. If you missed something, you can check this, but this is all you need. Now we only need to add the inputs and I'm using the Oculus integration. You can use whatever you like. I will let you know what you have to change. So uh, I'm doing this in, an, in another script since I'm handling animations for the hands and stuff. I'm doing it in here, but to simply use this gun, you need a reference to the left hand model and the right hand model. And you need to add this. So when the trigger on the right hand, if the gun is in the right hand and the right hand trigger is pulled, set fire to true, they will make us fall into this method and shoot. So if the number two button on Oculus is hit, on the right touch controller it's B. If semi auto is true, set it to false. If it's false, stop the sound, set it to true, uh, stop auto firing to true, and auto firing to false. If we want to cock back the slider, so I'm holding in the right hand, so I want to check if the left hand is trying to do the cockback. So we check the distance between the cockback position and the left hand model. Just like that. And if this is less than 10 centimeters and cock is false, then we set cock back to true. And that will make us cock the gun. So this is all you need. Thank you for watching guys and my full project with animations and stuff as I said is available on Patreon. If you have any issues ask me in the comment section and I will try to help you out. Good luck and have fun guys.